All right, what's up guys? It's been a while since I've done a video. Um, I, I never did say the kit that I have. It's the Speed Force Racing single turbo kit um, with uh, a Garrett GTX uh, 3582R turbo. Um, I had some issues with the kit that I don't care for. One was uh, during tuning the Synapse wastegate they had trouble keeping boost and they ended up pushing about five and a half pounds of boost and that uh wastegate was just a nightmare um so i would not recommend them maybe it's because i didn't know what i was doing or maybe the tuner wasn't familiar with them i don't know um but i do know that the way it's set up it's only the wastegate comes off of the right side bank of the t of the manifold only um right off the exhaust manifold on the passenger side it is where it um the wastegate is so when you're dumping that pressure i'm gonna try to slide under here and show you when you're dumping that pressure you're only dumping it on that one side now maybe that doesn't matter i don't know i don't know whole lot no enough to get myself in trouble but there's my open dump wastegate and it just comes right off the exhaust manifold on the passenger side and dumps out so it's not doing anything on the right or the driver's side here that's where they come together and go or no i'm sorry here's where they come together and go under and through here and feed the up pipe you see the purple marks there so what i did was bought a uh, turbo smart hypergate 45 wastegate and i'm going to mount it right there if i can um, and that way it's dumping right before it gets to the turbo and um of course, I'm going to try to angle it a little bit so that it's, you know, getting good pressure, good feed that way. And hope that that helps. Um, you can see right there is uh, the, um, where the turbo goes. I've already pulled it off. Uh, there's my T4 flange. Um, so that's uh, the one issue I had. Um, the other issue, this engine, I couldn't get the valve. Somebody had stripped uh, two of the bolts out, uh, broke the bolts off in the heads for the valve covers, and it leaks oil terribly. Uh, it was at a track day, and they threw me out because it was just smoking like crazy. The oil's dripping onto the exhaust manifold, and... You yeah, know, they should have kicked me out. I mean, if uh, if I'd have kept going another lap or two, I'd probably burnt my car up. But, um, so, that's where I'm at. The other thing, I got a Junkyard 350Z motor that is at the um, machine shop right now. Uh, getting the uh, short block honed out and all that good stuff. Uh, so, I'm building an engine to, to put in this. Um, then once I have the, the new wastegate, um, should be able to push about 14 PSI. I'm doing nine, nine and a half to one compression race, ratio. Um, hoping for the 500 horsepower range, uh, maybe even a little more. We'll see how it goes. I don't need a ton for tracks stuff. Um, just a nice power curve, um. That's about it. Uh, when I get it back together, I'll, you know, make a video, hopefully, of it on the dyno and maybe ripping around, doing some donuts and some basic idiocracy. So, if you've got any questions, comments, whatever, drop them. And um, if you know something I don't, because I don't know that much, let me know. Uh, if you know how to get those valve uh covers not to leak i do have a new set in a box somewhere here my freaking garage is a disaster that's all parts right there and here and everywhere 
So, anyways, uh, sorry we dragged on a little long. It's not very interesting, but that's where the build's at right now.